Technology is one of the hottest areas to be in right now in terms of careers, but what exactly should you be doing in the world of technology? That's what I'm going to talk about here today. My name is Eric Kimberling. I'm the CEO of Third Stage Consulting. We're an independent consulting firm that helps clients throughout the world with their digital transformation journeys. And technology is one of the hottest areas to be in right now. There's a lot of opportunity that only continues to grow and increase in demand and popularity over time. So what I want to talk about today are what are those seven career paths and the seven career areas of focus that are the hottest right now, provide the most opportunity for the years to come. Now, starting in no particular order, I'll start with the area that I'm most familiar with, and that is functional and technical consulting. In the world of technology, there's really two types of consultants that help other organizations deploy technologies throughout their organizations. And there are functional consultants, which are people that are more business-minded, still technical, but focused on helping define how technology can fit with those business processes and business functions. And then you also have technical consulting, which is more focused on development, customization, and the more technical aspect of consulting. And in many cases, there's hybrid roles that actually cover both areas. But in general, consulting is a very popular area to begin and develop a career. You can work for small to large consulting organizations throughout the world that focus on digital transformation and technology consulting. Companies like Accenture and Deloitte are some of the more popular technical consulting firms. But you also have a lot of software vendors and system-specific consulting firms that help deploy certain types of technology, whether it be SAP or Microsoft or Oracle, whatever the case may be. So this is a very broad universe of opportunity. There's a lot of consultants in the world that specialize in different things, but consulting in general can be a great place to start your career in technology. Another area that's becoming increasingly popular and in increasing demand over time is this whole job description called solution architect. And solution architects, for lack of a better word, are people that tie together multiple systems and figure out how to piece together different technologies. So in the world we're living in right now, technology is proliferating at a very fast speed. So lots of new technologies are being deployed by organizations and even consumers and individuals. And so people that are solution architects that can figure out how to tie together all this information, all this data, those skills are in extremely high demand right now. Now, the beauty of being a solution architect is on one hand, it's a very technical role. You have to understand integration and APIs and how systems work and how data flows between systems. But on the other hand, you need to understand business extremely well. You have to understand integrated end-to-end -end business process flows and how different technologies might tie together to support those integrated end-to-end -end business process flows. So solution architecture can be a great way to dip your toes in both the technical and the business aspects of technology. Now, just as solution architects are in higher demand than ever because of the proliferation of technology, you also have the proliferation of data or big data. So you may think about your phone or your wearable device, your watch that you wear that tracks all this data about you. And those are just two examples at the consumer level of how devices are constantly capturing data and collecting data about you. You also have organizational systems corporate applications, business applications that are constantly capturing data about organizations. Everything from the types of products and services that are being sold to financial information to what exactly is happening on the shop floor and where products are moving throughout a, an assembly line, where products are being stored in a warehouse, for example. All that data within an organization is being captured and stored somewhere. But the problem organizations have is they have these mass amounts of data, but they don't know how to make information of that data. They don't know how to use that data to make decisions. So the organizations that do figure that out are the ones with extremely high competitive advantages. And that's why this whole discipline of data science is in such high demand right now. People that understand data, understand how to make use of it, how to use it for artificial intelligence, how to use it for machine learning, and understanding of internet of things, all that stuff ties back to or points back to this whole discipline of data science. So data science, especially if you're a very quantitative and analytical type of person, can be a great way to pursue a career in technology. Now, if you're a sales-minded individual and maybe less technical or less interested in the real hands-on technical aspects of technology, 
technology sales can be a great career path. So in other words, selling technology to other organizations or maybe even selling technology at the consumer level. At the enterprise or organizational level, tech salespeople can make good money. They can make good commissions on selling large corporate applications that in many cases are millions or tens of millions of dollars of acquisition costs, which can lead to nice commissions for people that are in sales. It's also a great area if you're just interested in sales in general. Technology sales is in very high demand right now because of some of the things I've already talked about, the proliferation of new technologies, the fact that organizations and corporations throughout the world are investing heavily in new technologies right now, the fact that consumer technologies are changing quickly and continuing to become more and more innovative over time. We're just living in a more technological world and people that can sell that technology and position technological solutions better than others are gonna do very well in this field. So if you're interested in technology, but you also have a sales-minded background, this can be a great place to pursue a career. Now, another really cool and high demand area within the world of tech may not sound like it's an area of within technology, but it actually is, and that is supply chain management. Anything to do with supply chain management right now is very hot here in the 2020s. Supply chains are strained. People are having trouble with their supply chains. There's a lot of bottlenecks in the supply chains, a lot of breakdowns. So a lot of opportunity to come in as a supply chain practitioner, either as a consultant and or as an internal supply chain expert that can help improve some of these challenges. Now, the reason I included this in a tech career oriented video like this one is because supply chain management has become very technologically driven. You have supply chain management technologies that automate the supply chain. You have big data, as I mentioned in the previous segment, big data that's being captured throughout the supply chain. You have a lot of consumer product and internet of things at the consumer facing level that's being captured as well. You have suppliers that are also deploying technologies and using technologies to provide their raw materials to other manufacturers or, or producers. So all the different players involved in the supply chain need help with their technology, with their process improvements, with big data, and all the things that go along with that. So if you are interested in supply chain management, if you have a knack for operations and you really like that business oriented side of things, but you also want to pursue a career in technology, supply chain management might be a great place to start. As technology becomes more complex, more difficult to implement, more risky, more costly, program management becomes even more important. So technology program management or project management is extremely hot right now. People that can figure out how to effectively deploy technologies in a way that delivers real value. So in other words, in years past, a lot of times organizations would deploy technology just because they had to. They had to automate their financials. They had to automate their inventory management. It was sort of a, a basic deployment of technologies. It wasn't easy, but it was a lot more straightforward than it is now. Now you have best of breed solutions. You have artificial intelligence, machine learning, internet of things, big data, a lot of different components and moving parts when it comes to any sort of technological transformation. So people that have strong program and or project management skills are gonna be in very high demand for years to come for this very reason. Now for more about project management, I actually have a video on my YouTube channel that talks about what is project management and what is program management, sort of differentiates between the two and talks about what it is and what the discipline entails. So I encourage you to check out that video on my YouTube channel if you want to learn more about project management. But in general, this is an area that I would consider one of the top tech careers in the 2020s. Now, the last thing on this list is something that may sound the least technical, and that is organizational change management. And I'm not going to get into the details of what exactly organizational change management is and all the nuances of it. But if you'd like to learn more about change management, again, check out my YouTube channel. I have a lot of videos about what is organizational change management, what are some of the key things to think about. And I also encourage you to download a report on organizational change management or a guide to organizational change management. I've actually included a link to that below. So be sure to check that out if you want to learn more about what change management is. But in the meantime, I'll tell you that change management is a very powerful skill. If you can develop a change skill in parallel with a technical skill. So in other words, you understand technology, you understand business operations, and you also understand how to effectively manage organizational change. That is extremely powerful. That's a very deadly combination, but in a good way. So if you can find opportunities to help 
organizations with employee adoption or transitioning to new technologies, going through any sort of business or digital transformation, that organizational change skill set is something that's very hard to find and is extremely high demand, especially if you can balance out technical with the soft skills of organizational change management. That's a very powerful combination. So I hope this has given you some guidance on how to pursue a career in technology or at least some of the areas to be thinking about. And if you're interested in a tech career, I also encourage you to submit your resume or your bio to Third Stage. We're constantly growing our team and we're constantly adding to our team throughout the world. We have four major uh, international offices. And so I encourage you to submit your resume using the email at the bottom of your screen here. I've included a email address for you to submit your resume or bio if you're interested in either breaking into technology or if you're already in technology and would like to continue your career at an independent consulting company like Third Stage, please reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. I've also included some additional links and educational resources below. So these educational resources are meant to help as you do research as part of your career development. So I hope you found this information useful and hope you have a great day.